If you look at any band that's played the main stage at a festival or you know is doing really well in terms of long-term career, they all started out in these small venues. And I think without them, how do bands learn their craft? I am a voice inside My name's Sybil Bell and I'm co-founder of Independent Venue Week. So the history of Independent Venue Week is actually pretty short. 2015 is our second year. And it came about because we were working on a few other projects and we saw a lot of initiatives to support different people within the industry. And we just felt that none of them really acknowledged the work that the venues and the people that own and run them do to support grassroots music. It became very clear that there was an opportunity to do something that really celebrated the venues that put gigs on week in, week out. And when we announced the project, we had a huge amount of support from the industry. Live music's a really key part of what we do. We were really keen to be involved. You know, it's an important thing for all of us to sort of stick together. It's about a bigger process, isn't it? About lots of venues nationally coming together and hopefully you know building some more awareness for what we're doing and perhaps some of the you know difficult times that some venues may be going through and how it is important to support them. We wanted as broad a geographical spread so we chose one venue per location in the first year so that we could cover as much of the country as possible. We had 17 venues six days. This year we're looking to have 90 venues which would be a five-fold increase. Without venues like this, maybe we wouldn't be able to play, not nearly as much, because it allows you to sort of get that platform to work off that you maybe wouldn't have. These kind of venues, the bands don't survive without them because it's, your, it's the foothold of, of getting into the industry and we've had some great times kind of turning up in these venues and, you know, I hope they're always going to have a place. You've got to hope that they always exist because it's, it's what made the industry and it's such an important part still. The venues that tend to do very well tend to be those venues that have a really consistent level of quality of bands that are coming through, even if it's different genres and different styles. Something that's programmed is really well thought out, it's priced properly, the bands know they're going to get treated well, the bands know that the night will be promoted so it'll be busy. I think that's the sort of thing that makes a really big difference. For the venues, especially those that have been around for quite a long time, you know, for every year that goes by, the artists that come through the door, the genres of music that seem popular, the crowds that they bring, the effects it has on fashion, it's a huge, huge part of British culture and it's something that we should be really, really proud of. We're not one of those initiatives that comes along for a week and shouts loudly and drums up support and then disappears. What we're trying to do with Independent Menu Week is be proactive. So we're saying, look, you know, what are you doing on a Thursday night or a Wednesday night? Why don't you just go down to your local music venue, spend a fiver, go and see some bands you've never heard of, jump around that front like a lunatic and just experience what it's like to go and see some live music. You can just go down the road to a gig and see like a, a new band that you won't have heard of and it might be your favourite band. Like, that's amazing. It's irreplaceable really.